welcome me everyone to you standby let's start by opening up the settings and from here i want you to scroll all the way down until you see standby make sure standby is on and all these options are also turned on to activate the standby mode you must lock the phone pull it into sleep mode or the phone can be on the lock screen you then need to meet two requirements the first requirement is your iphone must be in landscape mode so you can rest it up like this but this is not recommended i would recommend you have a stand which you can magnetically attach with magsafe the second requirement is the iphone must be charging with either the charging cable or with the wireless charging for the best results i recommend you have a wireless charging stand because it will stand the phone in landscape and charge it at the same time and so we're going to place the phone on the stand it's in landscape mode it's charging and now we see the standby but there are a couple of problems the first problem is by default standby mode is going to turn off on its own so you can see the screen here and if i wait the screen is going to go black you can see the screen has gone black and i have to you know tap to wake or have to move the phone to wake in order to fix this what we're going to do you're going to head back into your standby settings and what we need to look for is this always on option and if this is off tap the toggle to turn it on you can see the iphone to the right does not have the always on toggle the always on toggle is only available to pro models of iphone which was uh, which were released in 2022 or later so any older pro iphones not supported this iphone released on the same day as this iphone but this iphone does not get the feature if you don't have always on unfortunately you will have to keep on tapping to wake back in the standby mode here to use all of its features first page you see here these are widgets and you can swipe up or down to switch between them if you long press on the widget and we use our face id we can edit what widgets we have so you can tap on the minus to remove you can tap on the plus to add and if you don't want the widgets to automatically switch then you can turn off the smart rotate and you can edit both widgets uh, panels as well if we swipe to the left we have the photo gallery and this will just go through slowly photos which are in your album if you long press you can change the album and you can tap on the plus to add an album then if we swipe again we have the clock this clock face if you swipe up you can switch the face if you long press and then tap on the circle you can then switch the color or customize the clock face if you swipe down from the far right hand side you'll be brought to the control center you cannot swipe down from the middle to get the notification center it will not show up if you long press the power button you can see the assistant is going to show at the bottom middle if music is playing which you can start playing from the uh, control center then you'll have this music icon and you can tap the icon to view the cover art you may have seen some people they can change the color of their widgets or well, this is the night mode so if i turn off all the lights and i'm just going to block the light sensor eventually the whole screen will turn red and this is just done to block all blue lights from showing as blue light will affect your sleep so i'm going to wait until the screen goes red and now we go you can see the screen goes red uh, you can't customize this color it will go to red when there is low light in the room and this just helps again there'll be no blue light playing so you'll be able to use this at night and it won't affect your sleep and with that being said if you would like to help support the channel please do check the description bye bye